Hi everyone. Welcome to our series on best of cat. Let's have a look at the next question on arithmetic. The question is a question on time speed distance. As usual, pause your video over here, try the question and then have a look at the solution. Let's have a look at the question. The question speaks about uh, three different modes of transport where you can travel at a speed of 10, 20 and 30 kilometers per hour. There were two person, Amal and Bimal, who use the transport in different ways. So what did Amal do for his journey? He broke up his journey into equal time slots. That means suppose if he had taken three hours to travel from place A to place B, for first one hour he moved at a speed of 10, for the second one hour uh, he moved at a speed of 20 and then for the third one hour he moved at a speed of 30. Right. From there we can calculate his average speed. But what Bimal did was he broke up his journey into distances. He broke it up into three equal parts in terms of distance and for the first part he uh, was traveling at a speed of 10, then 20, and then 30, and we can calculate his average speed. The question asked is by percentage by which Bimal's time exceeds Amal's time. So time, time has to exceed for Bimal. So his speed will come less. So I will talk about two different approaches. First, let's talk about the basic approach. How would I have gone about it? I will first worry about the speeds because time I can just take reciprocals of the speed. So in case of Amal, what I will assume is let's assume he took a total of three hours to complete the journey, which means for the first one hour, he was traveling at a speed of 10. So the distance covered by him is 10 into 110. For the second one hour, he was traveling at a speed of 20 and then for at a speed of 30. So the total distance covered by him is 10 plus 20 plus 30 will become 60. Divide by 3 to give me his average speed. So his average speed becomes 20 kilometers per hour. Let's leave it over here. Let's do the exact same thing for Bimal now. While in case of Bimal, what happens? He has broken up his distance into three parts. Let's take the total distance of his journey as 180 kilometers. That means, again, I hope you've realized why I've taken 180 and why not any other number because I want the numbers to be divisible by 10, 20 and 30 and I want each part to be divisible by 10, 20, 30. So the LCM of 10, 20 and 30 is 60 and I made it into 3, so 180. So in the first case, the first 60 kilometers, he has covered at a speed of 10, so he took 6 hours. The second 60 kilometers, he covered at a speed of 20, so he took 3 hours and the third 60 kilometers he covered at a speed of 30, so he took 2 hours. So this is 6 hours plus 3 hours plus 2 hours. So he took a total of 11 hours for 180 kilometers. So his average speed became 180 upon 11 kilometers per hour is same. Now, read the question. We want to know time car difference. So this is, if I call this as S1 and this as S2, so T2 upon T1 will be S1 upon S2 because we want to know Bimal's travel time is extra by how much. So T2 upon T1 will be S1 upon S2 which will be 20 upon 180 upon 11 that is 20 into 11 upon 180. So that's 11 ratio 9. So in short, if Amal took 9 hours then Bimal took 11 hours for the same journey. So, 2 hours extra. So, what is the extra or the increase for Bimal? It will be 2 by 9 into 100. We should know that 1 by 9 is 11.11. So, 2 by 9 is 22.22, which is the first option because they have asked for the nearest option. So, 22.22 is the answer. Have a look at one more approach for the same question. Now, even though the second approach does not really change the calculation so much. But understanding the approach makes you understand time speed distance and the average speed concept a little bit better. In case one, over the three time, uh, in case one, what has happened? The three speeds were traveled at the for the same amount of time. So in case when time is constant, average speed is nothing but the arithmetic mean. Average speed is nothing but the arithmetic mean, and hence. It will be nothing but 10 plus 20 plus 30 divided by 3, which becomes 20 kilometers per hour. Understand knowing this saved you some time in the exam of thinking what time to take for each one of them and writing it down all that. So you saved some time. Now, 
in case two when the distance is constant the average speed is harmonic mean harmonic mean for three things you can take the distance as d you can take it as 180 i would still prefer to take it 180 harmonic mean would be 180 upon 180 upon sorry uh, upon 60 upon 10 plus 60 upon 20 plus 60 upon 30 which becomes 180 upon 11 as in the earlier case i had told you you know the calculation does not change much but the whole thought process that it is directly harmonic mean changes so 180 upon 11 becomes your average speed then the last part is same that t2 upon t1 will be nothing but 20 upon 180 upon 11 that is becomes on solving this this becomes 11 by 9 therefore time taken by bimal will be 2 by 9 more than the time taken by amal 2 by 9 as a percentage is how much we should know your fractions 1 by 9 11.11 so 2 by 9 22.22 closest option is the first option which is your answer so again you know it is good that a student knows this even if he does not know he can always use average speed as total distance upon total time you can do that like i had done in the previous case it's a very good approach but still just knowing the concept that when time is constant average speed is arithmetic mean and when distance is constant average speed is harmonic mean